What's up guys, this is JJ from 845. So I have a quick question uh, to the community just to try to figure out if my current setup is correct or not. So this goes out to Atomos, um, Small HD, and also Paralink. So three manufacturers that I'm trying to Frankenstein together and make our, make our rig work. So the idea that I had uh, from the very initial uh, you know, the thought was I have the HDMI out from the A7S to the Atomos Shogun recorder, so that works flawlessly to, to record uh, 4K. And I have the existing small HD uh, AC7 OLED Pro monitor, and this already has, it's plugged in, but I do have the battery plate. Uh, and then this is the Paralynx Aero Plus receiver. So as of right now, the sync button is there. So you can see right now it is turned on, uh, but obviously the picture button is not there. So a, a few questions. Here's the setup. And so right now the signal works fine. If you can see that, the picture's there. Turn it around. So as mentioned that I have the HDMI out from the A7S to the Shogun monitor. So that's HDMI in, so that's why I'm getting picture. And the thought is I can have HDMI out um, to to the Aero, uh, Paralynx Aero Plus uh, transceiver. And so once again, the sync button is there. So if you can see right there, but the picture once again is not there. Now I looked at the forums and making sure that I do have it correct where if you can see right here, the video out is correct. So it's live right now. So ideally there should be a picture to come out. But the other things that I read was the time code should be turned off. Uh, and so as of right now, HDMI time code is off. So I'm just trying to figure out what the current situation is. Um, there are a few things that could be some of the outliers. For example, this uh, right connection HDMI adapter. So that's a HDMI female to male. So that could be one thing um, that could be the culprit. The only thing is we've done this in the past, uh, hooking that up actually this, this receiver, this transceiver to our C100 and that goes into our monitor correctly. Uh, so right now you can see it's wireless is in, but there is no signal, which is quite odd. And I've changed it here where I've done, um, I've done an HDMI directly from, from the port, from the A7S and that works fine. And even coming in from the Shogun HDMI out, um, out into here, and that works fine as well. So the question that I have is why isn't the transmitter and the receiver from the arrow, the Paralynx arrow working? So I've come across the forums online. I know there are some people who had some issues in regards to using their Paralynx Arrow Plus. Um, I do want to say that all the firmware is up to date. Um, the possible culprit for the small HD, so this goes out to you guys, small HD is the current firmware is on the beta one, so I'm not so sure um, if that could be it. So it's the 3.1.1 Capicola firmware, and I know that previously that some of the notes where it has some HDMI issues, so I'm not so sure if that is a culprit. But ideally, want to get this thing set up where it's recording from the Shogun, uh, and then have the have this one out, so that way we can do a follow focus. Uh, remotely or have just for the for the client to be able to to have this monitor on a C stand or even handheld with our with our grips that we have and so they can kind of come around and just watch it remotely without having to be so close to us so reaching out to you guys um, the other thing that I've tried doing is to bypass the um, the Atomos Shogun rig the HDMI out is to use the LAN part plate right here uh, so if you can see this thing has an input right over here. So what I've done was I tried to input the uh, HDMI uh, straight straight from the A7S, uh, this this uh, HDMI cord. I tried to do this uh, and bypassing the Shogun altogether and putting this into the input and making sure that this thing is um, you know on. And then I had placed this unit right here, the transmitter into one of the outputs. I would took out, this probably would have been even better is to do that. So that way this thing uh, potentially would not get damaged, you know, cause this is so close to the, to the shooter. So ideally this would go to the output one and then it goes into monitor, but still, you know, even though, even right here, the weird thing is, is that it, there's still no picture. It, the, the sink is there, but the picture is not there. So, and that's of course when I plug this in correctly. Currently it's not plugged in correctly. So 
I guess if anything, the this video gets extended to both uh, to four people, four manufacturers. Is has people in the past have used the LAN part uh, battery plate correctly with an HDMI uh, wireless out into a monitor? So that's for you, LAN part. Um, the second one goes out to small HD. I'm trying to figure out if has there been success of people using uh, the Paralynx Arrow Plus uh, with the Shogun. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a compatibility issue or even if the firmware is incorrect. And then the um, the second one would be, or the third one rather, would be for Shogun. And I want you guys to confirm if this current setup is correct because I know that time code is off uh, and the HDMI is all plugged in correctly. And then lastly would be the Arrow Plus, um, the, I'm sorry, Paralynx Arrow Plus if this is all uh, currently correct as well. Tried to figure out why I could not get the sync and picture correctly. And the only thing that I could not test was to, because I don't have my HDMI cable with me, but to go from the camera's uh, HDMI out uh, into the Paralink, or, or hooking up the Paralynx transceiver directly to the A7S. So I couldn't test that out because I don't have a mini HDMI, I'm sorry, uh, a micro HDMI to a female HDMI, so I can plug in the Paralynx, um, you know, this thing, uh, the full HDMI into it. So I think it's try that. So I wonder if anyone else has success of, um, you know, hooking up their A7S with a Paralynx Arrow Plus, and then the receiver is already onto the monitor. So any help would be great, guys, um, from all four of you manufacturers and even the community. Would really appreciate it. Thank you.